Well, the, uh, that's got to be the size of the shed. Good size. Builder's getting there. Getting there. So we've got our, our uh, base down there. So it's just a road base. So he's putting that down and compacting it. And Dougie's want to go out, uh, but the gate's open, so we can't let the doggy out with the gate open like that. Come on. Come on. Still going. So the shed is not the one I was actually wanting to get, but um, the uh, builder bought a cheap one, and the reason for that, which he pointed out, was the, uh, there's no point of buying an expensive one. Um, this house doesn't warrant getting an expensive shed. And uh, it would just be wasting money because it, it wouldn't be an, an improvement to get a more expensive one. The improvement is just getting a shed. So you got one that was only a couple of hundred bucks. So he's putting that in. And I vaxed the floor. It's the first time I use a vax on the floor to try and get rid of the red soil. I think it came out pretty well. It's not perfect. Especially when somebody put doggy footprints everywhere again. But it's a hell of a lot cleaner than just mopping because mopping doesn't get into the grains and hello everybody we've got our new addition so he's left me again unintentionally because the uh, tree is in the way that, that, that tree stuff so he couldn't bring it up to the front too easily and I've got my three by three meter shed I was actually looking at four meters but because of the sump couldn't go the extra meter and I didn't don't end up needing it anyway because it was the size of it and because of that pole and I didn't want to get rid of the pole it's a nice strong pole that if I can use that so this space over here I can use to store the bikes and the ladder and everything else so this is going to be a good little storage spot there to put some things and there's the shed no windows. I did want a window on this side, but with the uh, double doors, you can't put the window on there. Which is unfortunate, not having a window. I can maybe get a window later. And it's just a, uh, a gravel, a road base floor. When I normally you're supposed to use a concrete slab, not a road base floor. So what he's done is he's put timber around the edge and he screwed the shed into the timber. Because of course there's no slab to dyno bolt into. To a nice big work area. Somebody's already digging in the floor. <laughs> Crazy quarter. So that's the shed. So with the double doors, it should have let in a fair bit of light. And uh, I might even tile the floor. 
your foot tiles straight out oh, over that floor. Anyway, there's my shed. Done. And it's not too high for the neighbours. So I didn't want uh, them to be looking at an ugly shed. So all they see is a pointed roof. Done. See ya.